Now, I'm a big fan of EAVIST when it comes to certain specific indications, and I would argue that the most important of those indications is differentiating FNHs from other hypervascular lesions. Now, here's a nice example. This is actually a young woman. I think she was maybe 30, 31. She had some maybe questionable history of oral contraceptive use, but if you look throughout her liver, there are multiple hypervascular lesions that are rounded, they're homogeneous, and they're relatively iso-intense or maybe even minimally hyper-intense on the uh, venous and delayed phase post gadolinium images. So, you know, what are we dealing with here? Are we looking at multiple adenomas? Are we looking at multiple FNHs? And honestly, when you have EVIST at your disposal, there's no reason to have to equivocate. In this example, I've given you images from 10, 15, 30 minute delayed hepatobiliary EVIST images. And you can see that all of these lesions actually are hypo intense on these delayed images, meaning that they do not have bile ducts. These lesions are not FNHs. These are all multiple adenomas. This is actually a great example of hepatic adenomatosis in a woman on oral contraceptives.